Triangles, flags, and pennants are continuation patterns in either an uptrend or a downtrend. Our graph to the left shows a flag continuation pattern in a bullish uptrend. The pattern represents a price consolidation with minor support and resistance levels. We can use these support and resistance levels as buy signals in the trend. If you'll remember, we talked about exponential moving averages and how we could use those as support levels to give us buy signals and sell signals in a trend. We can use triangles, flags, and pennants in the same way. So what, what we're looking for is the stock to pull back in a bull trend. And when the stock breaks the upper portion of the resistance, Within the triangle, flag, or pennant, that break can be taken as a buy signal for the stock. The same is true in a bear trend when the stock is trending down and then pulls up in the pattern to form a triangle, flag, or pennant. When it breaks the lower bound of support in that pattern, then that is taken as a signal to enter the stock on the short side. A flag, which is represented here on the graph, looks like a rectangle, a pennant looks like a symmetrical triangle, and a triangle looks like a triangle on the chart. We can have both ascending and descending triangles. So let's take a look at triangles, flags, and pennants on a chart. Let's look at our first pattern, which is a flag pattern in the chart of Intel. Intel was trending up. So we have the stock in an uptrend. And we see a pullback in the uptrend here. That's the upper bound of the flag. And here's our lower bound of our flag. After this three day pullback, on the fourth day, the stock breaks the upper bound or the resistance level of our flag and moves to the upside. This could have been our buy signal, or we could have purchased the following day after it was clear that the stock had broken the short-term flag pattern. The stock continued to move up from here, which is around the 25 and a half level, up to around the 29.25 level before turning down. So this was a continuation flag and a bull trend in Intel and gave us a buying opportunity when the stock pulled back. Now let's use the chart of Qualcomm to look at a pennant pattern. We have Qualcomm and we're looking at an hourly chart and you'll often see flags and pennants and triangles on hourly charts. They can help guide your trading on a shorter term basis. So if we look here in July, on July 18th, we see that the stock is moving up, has a slight pullback, and then continues the bullish pattern. And then for several hours, we have a pullback here and support here which is around 50% of our green candlestick, which is also an important number. And here we have a pennant. So when the stock breaks out at the end of the pennant pattern, it moves up, comes back and holds the support level, and then moves up a little more. We then have the stock coming back and testing the support level which we can continue to draw here. And then moving up, bouncing off support, moving up, bouncing off again before it finally moves up off the 58 level, back up to the 62 level and beyond. So our pennant ended up being longer term support on an hourly chart, which we could have used to keep us in a long trade until the stock finally made a move higher. So that's the stock of Qualcomm with a pennant pattern 
Again, breaking out to the bullish side of this pattern, coming back, touching support several times, and then finally moving high. 